All right, guys, I'm gonna be real with you. This won't make a lot of sense in the beginning, um, but to start calligraphy and to start the Roman letters, which is the base for all the other calligraphy styles, you will have to um, learn how to do straight lines. And you're gonna be like, this is so basic, why? Well, you have to learn how to hold your chisel tip utensil, which could later turn into a brush or it could turn into a really cool calligraphy pen if you go to like Michael's or Hobby Lobby. So you're gonna make basically eyes and you're gonna practice eyes for a long time. And then I'm gonna throw in E's and you're gonna practice E's. And then you're gonna practice N's and you're gonna take everything like very like slow because you need to be slow and steady. So what you need to do is get your um, pin held in such a way like right handers you're gonna have to hold your marker a little odd but you're gonna have to try to get your 45 degree mark i'm left-handed so i gotta do it this way and you gotta pull straight down so this one not the greatest let me try again there we go okay so that's what i'm looking for you gotta start doing straight lines if you're leaning you got to fix your lean i've had a lot of coffee today and i warned you guys about coffee it'll give you the shakes so let me zoom in this is what we're looking for we're looking for consistency this is a 45 degree angle hopefully okay that's what we're looking for we're looking for a clean ending okay and then you wanna see that we stop at the same place each time. This week, week, what is going on there? So this one, not so good. The other is decent, but I got a little wobbly here. This one started out kinda of weak. You could try to go back and fix it, but then as you know with highlighters, it's gonna show. So, um, okay, so you're gonna do probably, let's do three rows of eyes. And the goal here will be to find five eyes that are exactly the same. When you think you have five eyes that are exactly the same, circle them, one, two, three, four, five, Oh, that's not really right. What happened up there? Ugh. I'll just do another one. When you think you have five, circle them. Jeez, I, I swear it's the marker. It's not me. Let's do four here. These four are pretty good. And the reason why the consistency matters is because consistency is going to matter when you get to the whole alphabet. So after you've done three rows of I, you can start to do E's, or let actually L, I'm gonna stick with the practice groups. So L, it's an I, you pull straight down, and then you have to, that's one stroke, and then the second stroke, it matches back up, and you just go a little bit. Do not overdo your L's. So that would be overdoing your L's. If you look at the L compared to the M, it is not as wide as an M. It's like half of an M. So we need to see that when you're doing the L's. So once again, 45 degree the whole time for every letter and make sure you're not tipping over. These are tall, powerful letters. The Roman alphabet is a symbol for power. The Roman numerals is a symbol of power. Ugh, didn't do so well there, but I did do really well there. Okay, so then after L, let's do three rows of L. After that, let's move on to E. E is gonna be fun because it's like an L, so you got used to it. Pull down, go to the right, 
and then the top matches the bottom. Don't make it like bigger. The middle is right in between the second and the third line. And I cut my E shorter. The example has them all the same size. But I personally, and you can choose which way to do it, I personally like to make the middle part a little shorter. So I wanna do another one. 45 degree angle, straight down to the right, to the right on the top, and then right in the middle, a little. So an F, so do three rows of E's, and then the F is like the E, only there's no bottom. So you already know how to do I, L, E, F. That's good for the first day. Okay, and the goal, circle the best. I want five next to each other. And as far as spacing goes, try to give your letters space right now because you're not making any words. You're just practicing your letters. If you smush them too close, like you put a J right here, that's going to confuse your letters. That's gonna make everything really dense. And for practice purposes, like give yourself space, like a rectangle block. Okay, so today you're doing the first group. I, ooh, look how nasty my nails are. That's paint, not dirt. I-L-E-F. Great.